All right, uh, we got Luke McCaffrey here. Um, so we will finish up today's session with Luke. Um, I've got uh, two questions ready for him, both from the Journal Star. First, Parker Gabriel, and then Steve Sipple. Hey, Luke, I'm curious just about sort of the process of your, your role and the game plan coming together. I'm sure it wasn't easy to hear that you weren't gonna you know, start at quarterback at the outset of the season, but I guess, what was that conversation like? And then what was it like knowing how involved in the game plan you would be? Yeah, it's a blessing to be on the field at all, especially in that circumstance. I'm super thankful for Coach Frost, Coach Lubit, Coach Verdusco, Adrian, everyone who kind of had a part in that. And so just to be a part of the game plan in general, I'm thankful. And do, do, do you like the sort of uh, do it all role, lining up in the backfield, throwing it, running it, catching it? Yeah, yeah, it's it's fun to be on the field in general, any any way possible. Sip, go ahead, Steve Sipple. Hi, Luke. Uh, Scott had Scott Frost, your head coach, has talked about your relationship with Adrian being a good one, and he's a captain. What is it that you most appreciate about Adrian, and can you kind of expand on the qualities that he has as a leader? Yeah, so I could go on a list for days about what I appreciate about him. But one of the things I talked about last week is how when, when I first got here, he took me in. He saw it as competition, but then he also understands what our team needs to do to win. And so he has that balance so so well knit <laughs> that, that everyone on our team can see it and everybody can see the uh, competitiveness in him and, and how he really will do anything needed to win games. And, th and that's probably what I would say he's most appreciative. Thank you. Thank you. Um, next up, uh, Omaha World Herald, Sam McEwen. Hey, Luke. Um, I know you're part of a whole big team now, but your recruiting class, the 2019 class, uh, I think 15 or 16 of the guys from that class played on Saturday, and that's by far the largest number, including yourself. What There was something special about that class. Frost talked about it a lot, even last year. What, what, what's special about that particular group of guys? You all came in, it was a big group, uh, but you seemed pretty tight when you came in. Yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of good individuals in that class. I thought our coaches did an incredible job of recruiting people with great character and great skill sets. You see guys like Wondell, other guys like Bryce Binhart who, who showed out Saturday and will continue to play well. And, and hopefully now, moving forward, we can start bringing some individual talent and, and put it out on the field for, for some wins. When, when, you know, last year, a lot of those guys registered. So Bryce played a handful of games and, and you know, Ty Robinson played a handful of games. You played a handful of games. Was it hard to be patient? I, I'm sure there were moments last season when you thought to yourself, I could probably help this team in this particular game, but they wanted to preserve your red shirt. How hard was it to stay patient in that circumstance? And, and wait and wait, even though you thought maybe there was something you could do to help the team more. A lot of that patience comes with development as well. So sometimes people aren't ready yet. Sometimes they might be, but it's in their best case scenario to wait a little bit. And so it just depends on probably each individual circumstance. Was it hard for you to stay patient and, and to not always play when you thought you might be able to help? Yeah, I was lucky last year. I got to play in some games later in the season. So the last three games. And so there wasn't too much of that effect going into it, but you always want to be on the field and help the team. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sean Callahan, Husker Online. Hey, Luke, your junior year of high school, you had a play receiver because you guys had a, another quarterback. Um, you know, for you right now, how much does that make it easier for you? Because you've already had to do that over your football career where you, you, you know, just you did whatever you could to help your team win. Uh, does that past experience that you dealt with in high school um, kind of help you kind of handle this mentally? Because I'm sure some quarterbacks, when they come here, they're like, I'm a quarterback. I don't want to play other roles. But you seem to really take it on pretty well. Yeah, that was actually in high school. That was my sophomore year. That was when my brother was the quarterback at my high school. And so to be able to play with him, it was a very unique and special experience. That's something, now that I'm here, as, as good of a guy as Adrian is and as appreciative I am of Coach Frost and Coach Verdusco, it's another unique situation where I'm very thankful that I have those guys on my team and in my corner. And a big reason I played receiver in high school at all was because my brother was the quarterback. And, and now a big reason I'm playing it is because 
I have those two coaches and Adrian also by my side. And so to have those those people in my corner on my team, I'll I'll fight for them until until anything. Uh, let's go about two more for Luke. Uh, Andy Kendi, KETV. Hey, Luke, um, after looking at the film, what did you do well and what do you think you can improve on? Yeah, we, we did a lot of things well as a team. We, we were driving the ball most every drive. The main thing that killed us was our discipline and turnovers, and so that's something. Me personally, I, I had a fumble snap and another fumble later in the game, and, and that can't happen. That's, that's a number one cause to lose football games is losing the turnover battle, and so that's something that we're cleaning up and, and we'll fix, and now we just got to go out and win games because that's, that's the most important thing. All right, and we'll finish up with Luke. Uh, Derek Peterson, Hale Varsity. Hey, Luke. Um, fans are excited to see Omar Manning. Um, the coaches have talked about him doing good stuff in practice. When, when he's been on the practice field for you guys, when you watch him play, what impresses you about what he's able to do on a football field? He's got a very strong athletic build, and just to see him be able to run routes and use his natural instincts is something that's, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, and uh, one more, Mitch Sherman, uh, the Athletic. Hey, Luke, what uh, you, you got to see last year? Uh, some of the young linemen come along, guys in your class, you know, guys a year or two older than you, and then being on the field with them on Saturday. What can you say about the progress that those guys up front have made just in the time you've been here? Oh, a whole time. Our, our offensive line last game played impeccably. I, it's really cool to see those guys be able to move around as well. I know Matt Farniak's now at guard. It was great to watch Bryce out there. Ethan Piper filled in a little bit. And then we got our cornerstone with Cam and Jaime, uh, Brendan Hymas at, at left tackle. It was great to see Turner hop in there as well and then Bo Wilson. And so just to see all of those guys be able to rotate in and, and fill in any time throughout the game as long as they're playing well, and it's it's what our team needs, and it's it's something that I really liked watching. It was great to see them, see them push the pile, see them protect, and do whatever was necessary. All right, uh, thanks everyone. Thanks Luke, and uh, we will have Coach Frost on Thursday. Thank you.